Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation, and for today's episode, we're going over the new Dark Baymax uh, medal that recently came into the game this week. I know I'm about two days late on this, but this is the first chance I actually had to actually make a video about it. Remember, I can only really make videos whenever I don't work. Uh, so this is this is one of those moments, okay? But I do try to keep us on top about things as much as possible. Uh, and I usually have a few days each week that I have off that I don't work, okay? Although they change all the time, so I might not always be able to sync up when a medal comes out with when I'm able to actually make a video about it. So just throwing that out there real quick. Uh, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and just jump into uh, my thoughts about the medal. Let's pull up the notice real quick. Most of you have probably already seen the medal uh, in the shop and have thoughts about it. Um, in case you're not as aware as well, it's basically just a power reverse version of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Pirate Sora medal that we got not so long ago. Uh, Pirate Sora is technically the strongest, uh, aside from Baymax, whoop, is technically the strongest medal in the game. Sorry. <laughs> And it's purely because of the fact uh, that Pirate Sora has 50,000 strength, which is the highest amount of strength uh, a metal has in the game at the moment. Okay, not including Chips and Dales. And stuff, okay, uh, but it's it's absolutely insane amount of strength. It's easily at least like 20,000 strength higher compared uh, to what other metals can possibly achieve. Um, including like the strength traits and such. Okay, uh, so it's 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 the highest strength in the in the game, and Dark Baymax is just like that. However, both of those metals have very big drawbacks in the fact that they consume a lot of gauges. And we'll just go ahead and go quickly go into the stats and my thoughts about it. Uh, so this is what Dark Baymax looks like. This is his ability. Okay, he's single target. For one turn, he has overwrite. That's worth noting. He has overwrite. Uh, and he sets the opponent's defense to minus 15 general defense, uh, as well as minus 15 upright and reverse defense, as well as minus 15 PSM defense. That's actually pretty good in a single target situation. Not that's like on that's like that's not too bad. Uh, if you have any other metal that can just buff out your max out your buffs automatically. Um, one worth mentioning is the new, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Zemnis, uh, VIP medal. Okay. Uh, which I think also gives you max buffs as well. Uh, just combining those two alone could, could give you max stats essentially. Um, but at the very least in terms of Dark Bay Max, max debuffing guaranteed on the opponent, that's, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid, especially since a lot of hard enemies these days are starting off with a whole lot more def defense buffs compared to the past. That's not too bad. Um, the main drawback about this metal, though, is the fact that it only it deals more damage with one enemy or zero parts left in terms of raid bosses. Um, and that part specifically, because of its multiplier range, look at its multiplier range. It's absolutely ludicrous. Um, it goes from having a multiplier of 3.8 to a 64.60. It's one or the other. There is no in-between. So, quite literally, if you're not in a single target situation when there's only one enemy, Dark Baymax is going to have, like, like, utterly trash multiplier. Uh... On top of the fact that because he can he uses all of your gauges as well, he consumes 30 gauges, just like with Pirate Sora. You can't you really you honestly you can't even use extra attack with him. Uh so all around, even though in specific situations, in his own, you know, single target niche situations, he can be really good. For the majority of content in the game, I feel like he's honestly not the greatest metal to go chasing after, especially because of the fact I think I think is a 10 mercy pool too. Yeah, he's 10 mercy pool on the free to play banner and he's five mercy pool 
uh, on the VIP banner, okay? Ultimately speaking, even with Pirate Sora, Pirate Sora it doesn't get used too often. Kind of because of those last two drawbacks I mentioned. Um, I don't think I don't think Monster Sword has the same multiplier as Dark Phoenix. I haven't checked that, so don't take my word on it. But at the very least, the fact that you have to use 30 plus gauges already kind of cuts it out of the equation. Because if you go if you can basically only use the metal once. Um, any other really good metal that you have that does have extra attack and has like uh, minus 60 traits, maybe even like one or two uh, strength traits as well. Okay, that metal alone with the extra attack is probably going to outdo your pirate sword or your dark Baymax just because of the fact that it has extra attack um, and it already has really decent uh, uh, stats in the first place. Um, most tier nine metals these days uh, with the extra chips and deals and such uh and depending on what traits you get um easily have around 30k strength and if you throw in extra attack not including the pet trait 120 percent extra attack uh, but just normal 40 percent extra attack on top of that you can basically get roughly the same results as a single use of dark baymax or pirate sora so arguably i feel like it's not really worth chasing after dark baymax um and you're probably much better off getting a re more reliable and decent metal that's more useful in general uh situations compared to a very niche metal like this one okay um although when you are in those niche situations dark baymax and pirates are probably going to be some of the best uh, but they don't happen very often for you for you, for you to warrant having to do so though so that's my my take on it um uh, that's just on the metal alone that's not even counting uh the actual banners themselves uh, if you're free to play just listening to my argument in the first place that should already warrant you that it's not worth doing a a, t uh, a 10 mercy pull at all whatsoever if you do have vip though it's gonna be completely up to you and how many jewels you have uh personally though because of the fact that anniversary is coming up uh or at least the jp anniversary is coming up fairly soon chances are we'll be getting some of the things that jp has if not exact the exact same thing as the jp anniversary that they will be getting uh because that's kind of what happened last time as well when jp had their anniversary we actually had the same exact thing as they did and they also did vice versa when we had our anniversary jp had the same exact thing as our anniversary so uh, JP anniversary is coming up fairly soon and I'm expecting that some some substantial stuff or at least some good medals might be popping up around that time so I'm kind of on the side of just saving up for the JP anniversary more or less unless a really busted medal happens to come out uh, beforehand in which case I will let you know but other than that that's basically it for today's video uh, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about dark baymax in the comment section down below uh remember i do try to keep these updates as often as possible as quickly as possible too it just depends on my job and when i do or do not work and such um and that's probably why you're seeing in the meantime uh why i'm doing all these other games on the side because of the fact that well if only four medals appear during the month these days and there's not really too many events worth making videos about I kind of want to make videos about other games in the meantime okay but at the very least you know this was this game is the basis or at least was the core of, or of the channel and i always revert back to these along with uh dragalia loss i'm trying to uh branch out into like other mobile games and stuff too if you haven't noticed um but yeah other than that if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way i know when to upload more videos such as this one my name is Brian from K-Hux Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, y'all.